Did state police destroy evidence in the death of a Detroit teen killed on an ATV? An attorney is making that claim. Now a federal judge is weighing in. But we begin with breaking news in this case. We've just obtained the autopsy report for Damon Grimes. It says he died from blunt force trauma caused from crashing his ATV. It says taser leads were actually recovered from the back of his head and also his lower back. Today, a judge ordered Michigan State Police and Detroit Police to preserve all evidence in this case. The move comes after attorney Jeffrey Feiger raised the possibility of a police cover up. Rod Maloney was in the courtroom today for that hearing. He joins us now live with the very latest Rod. Yeah, good afternoon. You know, the uh, this is a civil case that Jeffrey Feiger filed, but there's also a criminal case ongoing as well, and that became part of the uh, concern here. So uh, Judge Gershwin Drain said he wanted to go for the belt and suspenders because there are laws that already have them preserving evidence. But he said, you know what, I'm going to order an additional uh, order here in this case as a way to make sure that all evidence does get saved. 15-year-old Damon Grimes died August 26th. He rode a four-wheel ATV like this one down a Detroit street, getting the attention of Michigan State troopers. When they tried to pull him over, he allegedly fled. During the chase, an MSP officer, Trooper Mark Besner, sitting in the back seat, reportedly shot Grimes with his taser, prompting a crash. Lawyer Jeffrey Feiger now claims in this lawsuit that Michigan State Police threw away evidence, particularly one of the taser wires used in the chase, prompting Feiger to ask for an emergency hearing to find out what evidence exists in the case now. James Harrington works for Feiger and alleges a cover-up. When you have a sergeant from the Michigan State Police arriving on a scene, taking evidence, putting it in a trash can, that's a cover-up by definition. Harrington wanted an evidentiary hearing to find out more about the case, the officers involved, and the evidence collected. The state of Michigan argued there are already evidence preservation laws in effect, and a hearing would only hurt the criminal investigation. The judge asked if there was any evidence about spoiled evidence, and Harrington said he had none. Still, he believes MSP is stalling. Well, we're being uh, blocked at every turn by the outlets to provide us with the materials. I mean, we've submitted FOIA requests, just like press submits FOIA requests. We've served subpoenas. Uh, we've got nothing. And this all came from a media report that uh, has Feiger uh, filing this case. Now, the judge said that this, the criminal case needs to go before the civil case. And so he was not of a mind to hold a hearing, an evidentiary hearing, because he felt that it would reveal information in the uh, investigation that should not come out now. And so he didn't go for that. But again, he did go for the belt and suspenders extra order. Back to you. Yeah, and Rod, I know you mentioned that order. How quickly will the preservation order take effect here? Uh, interesting you ask in that he has essentially told the state and the Figer's office to talk with each other and try and come up with a way to sort of make this thing settle. But it's looking like it's going to be seven days or even more before they can make that happen in another seven days before there's a response before the judge. So it could be a while. It could be like sometime around October 20th is uh, the, what they talked about in court. All right. We will be following it. Rod Maloney reporting live tonight. Thanks, Rod.